Okay, so I'm still in this temple, and it's been a little while. So I had to leave because a friend showed up at my house in real life. And the guys got the temple to open. You can see the ground is lifted on the side here. So I sent a message out to the galaxy and got a few responses from a few friends, but one in particular friend responded who had stumbled upon our temple here and was curious what had gone down. Everyone has a good understanding now what has happened here and the Star Squad faction has control of this temple right now so I'm safe. I've been safe here. Luckily nobody's came to try to claim it. I'm not even actually sure where the faction block even is. It's a very nice temple. I like the colors. Definitely not the color palette I would have built in for something of my own. I missed my ride. They're gone. And they won't be back for a little while, so... yeah. Basically, I only have the starting blocks. I could make a little tiny ship, but look where I'm at. And let's pull up the map. Let's see where we need to go. Selected Sector Armada? That's not even... so that... we're close to Armada. Okay, so there's the Star Squadron. Squadron. Are we the Squadron faction? Oh yeah, because we're all Star Squad, right? <laughs> it's slightly confusing, because, you know... So, the Squadron faction has control of the temple. So basically, I've been playing Star Maid Survival on the Star Squadron server. Since I started playing Star Maid, I have very rarely touched creative mode or built in it. And yesterday I decided, oh, I'm totally going to fix my ship in creative mode. And somehow now, even though I was on it just a little bit ago, I broke my single player world. So I feel like that's just Star Maid telling me that I need to just play on my multiplayer server that has been my home forever. So goal number one, get home, which this is how I'm going to get home, my new home. I have no other way right now. I mean, somebody could pick me up, but the easiest way, oh man, would be not to jump in holes. Oops, I should have been standing still. All right, now where are we? There's a light. Oh my. Okay, so this is the station. Oh. Oh, that's kind of long. Number five. Okay, so that's nine. So that'd be eight. Oh, that's funny. Wait, no. Three. Huh, now I'm confused. How does this numbering system work? That's a skull, so that's lens cap. Five. So that was number seven. That's a nice, like, skylight going on. Nine and ten. There's a lot of purple in there. Well, a little bit of purple. Makes me think Zaktar. Oh, so that was five there. And that's six. Alright, I need to figure out how to get into this place. I can probably just go through the door on the end here is going to be my guess that uh, there is some type of door. Ooh, pretty. Change all the lights to purple. Step one. Let's come on inside. This is our airlock. Ooh. I like those plants. Oh, that looks so fun. Who knows what they'll look like in the future. I forgot all about putting them like that. I haven't even thought about how to decorate with plants in the last few months. Room number five. What's over here? Mm-hmm. All right. What's up here? A whole nother level? Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, I definitely want room number five because if I'm next to Lin's cap, I just get to look at his skull all day long. Perfect. I will definitely take this. Ooh, a shower room, bathroom, <laughs> a shower room. We should call them shower rooms. We take showers more often than baths. I'm trying to figure out what block that is. For a second there, I thought it was like a teleporter, because that'd be funny to actually make the shower a teleporter. Like, oh yeah, um, I'm just gonna go use the restroom. Beam out of here. Alrighty. I think I could settle right into this place. Now those are teleporters. Transporters. Transporters. Let's see if people put like signs up or something. Look at that lovely lens cap skull. Let's see if he's done anything in here. I haven't really seen much of lens cap. He must be very busy in real life. So this one over here across from lens cap is JW608 who are in 9 and 10. I actually have this written down. I could probably pull out my little cheat sheet. Add in whoever needs to be added. Number 9 is Zaktar. I called that. I saw that purple. Looks like he definitely has changed his. He had mentioned that he had Zaktarified his apartment. Looking nice. Nice and simple. Looks like you could host a nice little party down here. Lots of standing room for people. A little bit of sitting space. Cute little couches. I like it. All the seating you could sit on, I think. I guess we should test that out. Alright, let's see what we look like. Oh, bad positioning. I can't really zoom out. It looks like I'm sitting well, though. Let's try it on this one. Um, ma'am, you sat on the wrong thing. You really can't get a good angle, but it looks like I'm sitting correctly. Had to try that out with an another person. Let's go see who is across the hall from Zaktar. No data. Oh, weird. I don't know anything about that. Let's pull out the cheat sheet. Tennis Ven. I mean, I don't see a button to open a door. I don't know what's going on with that one. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that made me think of Space Mountain at Disney World in Magic Kingdom. So it looks like number one is Jace, so that'll be all the way at the other end of the hallway. I'll get there eventually. And number two is Garth. So over here is Top's apartment. He is the person who has built this awesome station we have going on. Ooh. So his, I'm sure, hasn't changed at all. It's interesting because he did these, basically a mirror of the other side. Alright, so top is over there. And this is Fuse. Looks like he intends to have a lot of things stored here. <laughs> so that's Jace. That's some ship of Jace. Ooh, I like it. I like the little pointy bits. He's got a chair. Not even center? Why is there a chair there, Jace? There's a J. Didn't even build it into the wall. Interesting. Maybe he's like just deciding what he's gonna do. Oh, so. Oh! So Fuse already has a lot of things stored. Oh, look at the little plants! I approve. Those look so nice. I actually. I turned my flashlight off to fully appreciate these plants here. Cute. I like it. Very cute. Let's see if he has anything changed in his rooms. No. So it looks like Jace is correct. Number five is the only one that's open. 
We already have ten members? Oh, number six is open too, maybe. Let's go see if anyone's in number six. Anybody home? I just won't have a neighbor, it looks like. Or if we gain a member... I mean, I don't know if there's anyone else who should be a part of the squadron fact faction. I almost said factory. <laughs> we are factory! Ooh! I like Top's logo down there. Wonder what I should come up with. I could just put a display module right here. Be like, Evil's room. This is mine! All of mine! And Fuse is one neighbor. And Lens is the other. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, number five is Evil's. I bet Zaktar has a build block. Yes. I figured he would. Very nice. Let's see if he has anything hidden up here. No. Ooh, I do like a slab light block, though. Alright, let's go see down here near the shipyard if there is a storage block with a display module that I can use. I keep going fast and then slow, getting distracted by things. Alright, go on down here. Yep. Going by the number one and number two apartment. Oh, we'd even go and look at Garth's apartment. Actually, now that I think about it, see if he's done anything. Ooh! Some color changes going on there. Don't think he's done anything else. Don't see his name anywhere. But, you know, those blocks are changed. <laughs> Ooh, that should be the first thing I do, is do some slab art as my entrance. Alright, look at that. There is a storage block right there. This place is very interesting. Do -do -do, display module right there. We just want one. The shipyard. Very nice. You can like stand here and be like, oh yes, my creation. <laughs> okay. Heard that Jace was working on something. I guess this is what it is. Kind of looks like a dinosaur. Ooh, I'd love to see a dinosaur ship. I should make a dinosaur ship. I mean, a giraffe is kind of like a dinosaur. I need to spawn in Octoaffy and start gutting that thing and redoing the whole inside. I was kind of messing around in single player on it and just really want to gut it. Gut the inside. Redo it. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be placing a display block. I was like, ooh, this looks pretty. Number five. You are where... I call home. Meh. Good enough. This is my home. So I've decided that I wanted to go ahead and get Evil Shuttle onto the server. And I thought I was going to have to like travel to 222, but it turns out you can just click on catalog and upload your blueprint. I'm going to go ahead and redo this, but with Octo Affy, just because it was so simple. So Octo Affy. Octo Affy Final. <sighs> I named that ship such a silly name, but if you were curious, it's Octopus and Giraffe E put together because it's an octopus giraffe ship. So you just press OK and it uploads it. And while that's doing that, here is my Evil Shuttle blueprint and the blocks that are needed. Not too many, that's why I decided I wanted to do, use that ship first. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy Octo Affy also. Buy it, and it's free! Okay! And it says something about right clicking. Info. And then you can add what you need to add. And this ship blocks needs way more blocks and way more expensive blocks and it's really needs some work apparently 
That's where its little triangles are. Let's go look and see where... A little bit more spread out on the offensive and mobility. That's what it's supposed to be. Should have a little bit of mining. I guess it has the tiniest bit. Let's fill a blueprint. Evil Shuttle's blueprint. My inventory, I've got some random blocks. I'll probably just throw that into the group inventory storage over there. Let's go ahead and upload Evil Shuttle. And see if it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. We're just going to go with the Evil Shuttle. That way, what is on the server is called Evil Shuttle, because that is its name. Alright, so Evil Shuttle, let's buy you. And the blueprint is free. Let's say okay. Hello, Evil Shuttle. Check out your info. Just need some blocks. Let's go check out these factories that are down here. Now, I've never touched a factory before. I know this game has factories, but I just never cared to get into them. Nothing against factories or anything, but it was just like one more thing to learn and just wanted to build pretty things, which I've just built strange things. I'm, I'm good with that. Strange is beautiful. Let's see here. Something pretty. What does that say? Docky security checkpoint. Interesting. Now this looks like factories. Output. Alright, there's a lot of outputs. Oh, okay, so these are the output amounts. Okay, so if I come over here... Alright, I think I understand now. <laughs> like, I'm super confused. Oh, wait, I understand. Okay, so purple hole. Look how many there are. Oh, wait, there's an add all button. Okay, let's just push add all. That is a lot quicker to push the add all button. Alright, well, let's go ahead and add what I've got so far. Add all. Okay. Well, that worked pretty well. And then... There's all that stuff, too. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep looking through here and adding what I can. I'm gonna have to make some lights, I think. Yeah, there's only these colored lights. I kind of guessed that it was the standard factory that the lights were made in. It seems like I picked the right thing. Alright, so I figured out how to make all the things that I am missing. I was slightly confused, but I realized that I needed some Ramit circuit to make my purple light. So going into this standard factory, I made some. See right here, I'm in need of till light. So you need glass and ferret circuit. So I am going to actually need to make ferret first. Let's go ahead and get some of that made up. And now this should solve my till issue. So while that's doing that, let's go ahead and look at my blueprint. And I've filled it almost all the way. I have a few more things to add to it. Ta-da! So actually, I still need to make that purple light right there. I only need two of them, apparently, on this little ship, and two till lights and some light rods. Apparently, you just need till lights, so I need four till lights and two purple lights. Then I'm done. Go ahead and deactivate that. I'm sure I've made enough of that. So we want light. Let's see here. We want some till lights. Activate that. I could be doing this in one of the other factories that make more than one at a time, but since I need two, I mean, I'll need more in the future, but this is our squadron factory shipyard setup. And now I know how to use factories. It was pretty easy to understand, really. You just, if it's not making what you want, you look and see what's missing, and then go from there. Deactivate that change it over to our purple lights. Purple light. Okay. Activate. Now. Oh, did I just see glass? It might have been because of the purple. I mean the blue. I mean the till. <laughs> wow. Alright. Let's look up light and see what we've got here. We've got purple, 
And we got some till. Awesome. Now I'm pretty sure I said I only needed two purples and four of the till. All right, let's scroll down and add all. Oh, thrusters. Eight more thrusters, apparently. I can do that. Thruster. Eight. Okay. And yes, at all. Now we can spawn evil shuttle. So I'm just gonna head out through the shipyard's exit. Earlier today, Jace Machine was showing me his ships that he's been working on. Oh, that one's still there. It looks like it's missing pieces of it though. He was having some connection issues. But this is a little airlock. I forgot the word there for a second. I like this airlock. I need one on my ships. Both my ships. I need multiple, lots of airlocks. I need to do things. Oops, I left the door open. It really doesn't matter, but I mean, be polite. Close the door. Alright. Let's spawn this thing in. What is that thing? That square thing? Is that a warp gate? I didn't realize there was one just like right there attached to the shipyard. Seems like a convenient spot. This seems like a sufficient amount of space. Alright, let's spawn this thing in. Info spawn. Oh, I can change the name right there. Well, that's good to know. I was thinking that, but I was confused when I was uploading the blueprint earlier. Okay. Set as own faction, yes. Evil shuttle, yes. Okay. Is it behind me? Oh, it's way back there. Interesting colored skybox out here. Oh, are those asteroids over there? Are they purple? Here's Evil Shuttle. Same way I left it. Apparently I put the scanner computer there. Weird spot. I should have put it on this side. I must have put it down in a rush, maybe. Ah, good enough. Let's fly this thing. Where should I go? I kind of want to go check out those asteroids, and then I'll go back over to my apartment and dock to it. Looks like just a couple of asteroids here. They're really small. I wonder if all our asteroids are small. It's all glowy. I want to touch it. Go back this way. Some people have been eating these. They didn't finish it. For sure. I want to get a little setup where I don't have to push a button. Oh, it's lava that glows. That makes sense. Well, this is Evil Shuttle, and this is Evil Shuttle's salvaging capabilities. Not much going on, but I can do a little bit. I should probably definitely improve this ship. Okay, approaching the base. I'm not quite sure what side my dock is at. Slowing down. Don't want to crash into anything quite sure where to aim. I think it's there. Get a little closer. Oh, too close! Yes! Success! Oh, I forgot to do one thing I meant to do. I actually meant to do this so we could really take a look at my ship. This is Evil Shuttle docked to our squadron station. Take a look at the underbelly of my little ship. I think it's the perfect size. And there's my system set up there. Oh, I'm missing something there. Weird. Interesting. Maybe I should have uploaded the other version. Well, I can always add some blocks. <laughs> Must have taken some damage at some point on our previous server. Alright, so let's go... I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm missing some blocks there too. Huh. At least I have a home now. I mean, I've always had a home, but at least I'm not stuck on that planet anymore. Huh. That was crazy. I was there for weeks. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'm glad to be having a ship 
and a new home in my apartment number five of the squadron station. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.